Hey Aries, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations. This is just Dan. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. This is good for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you are new, thank you for giving this video a chance. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I'm breathing hard because I have tried this over and over again and I'm like irked. It's it's because I keep stumbling over my words. I know what I want to say, but I can't say it. Mercury just moved into Sagittarius, where it will be for about two and a half months. Today is November the fifth. Um, and why will Mercury be in Sagittarius for two and a half months? Because it's going to retrograde in Sagittarius. Um. Okay, I wanted to see if Venus had moved into Scorpio yet. It has not. But in the next couple days, Venus will be moving into Scorpio. So, it's a lot going on, guys. With how we handle the way we think and communicate in regards to love and relationships. With so much Scorpio energy right now, you know... Um, people could be more willing to do things that might be considered a little bit taboo, right? If you hear this, I, the census was love readings. I wanted to play some slow, sexy, <laughs> slow jams. Yeah. Uh, so I hope that's not too bothersome. But I've got like some YouTube. I love cheesy YouTube music. I'm sorry, I just do, and it's playing in the background. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we got the Three of Swords. For those of you who have uh, uh, gotten familiar with Tarot at all, you know that this is not the best card, especially for love and relationship reading. And I'd love to tell you that it's not what it looks like, Aries, but it's what it looks like. The next card is the Faith card, reversed. And the last card is the Five of Swords, reverse. With the Three of Swords, we are talking about uh, infidelity, deceit, lying, backstabbing. Sometimes... When a person feels trapped, blocked, if they feel like they have obstacles in their way, they might break the rules. And I feel like the Three of Swords, which is a Saturn Libra card, you know, sometimes people break the rules. Um, Aries. Mars time. Okay. I'm sorry. That was the announcement of my planetary hours. It is Mars time and Mars rules Aries. Um, some fighting. I think there's some fighting going on due to some infidelity, some deceit, um, some backstabbing, somebody trying to come between a relationship. We've got the faith card here, reversed Aries, which um, in the regular tarot, the faith card would be considered the Hierophant. In relationships, this guy usually marries people in the, the most traditional way. You know, he's like the Pope, the preacher, the priest, the shaman, uh, Chiron. He's reversed, though. And we've got the Three of Swords. So, I definitely see some things that were contractual coming to an end. Some things have been turned upside down. And I do think that it is due to a third party. Got the Five of Swords reversed. So, here's another set of swords. There's something very non-traditional 
that is going on in the month of November. Um, for those of you who might be ending a relationship, um, maybe you've decided to go about ending things in a non-traditional manner. The other thing I see, Aries, is that some of you guys may have been in a relationship that you feel like had gotten stale or that somebody felt like had gotten stale and wanted to try some new things in order to spice the relationship up. I feel like this or this is going to happen if it's not already going on. This could be something that's happening in the month of November, but uh, beware because it's, it's not going to end well. You know... Um, you got to be a special group of people to spice things up in a relationship and not have somebody get butt hurt. You know, if you know what I mean. For everybody, this is not going to be about uh, doing something strange for a piece of change. It's, it's not going to be about unconventional sex. But for some of you, it is. I really do. Look, in looking at these cards, I feel like that in an effort to spice things up in a relationship that somebody has decided to do something non-traditional it's like either that or i'm taking you down because i don't want to be in this relationship no more so let's do something different let's invite somebody else in let's go outside the norm and and try to do something to get this thing going I just don't think that that's going to end well for those of you who have decided to take that route. We got two fives here, which fives are about conflict and it's about creative expression. It's about freedom and somebody wants some sort of freedom. And I think that that freedom for a lot of you is coming in the form of actually bringing in uh, another... Um, the opposite of freedom, in a sense, it's another anchor. It's something else that's going to hold you down, something else that's going to hold you back. So I want to pull another card to see if we can clarify what might be really up. All right. Okay, so the next card is the Six of Coins Reverse. This is a Moon and Taurus card. And we just had a full moon in Taurus um, on the 4th, yesterday. Going into the 4th, I think it happened at 1222 Central Standard Time. So we've got two Taurus cards on the table, which is about morals, values. Um, it's about what's mine. It's about what we earn, but we're talking about relationships. So, you know, I think what has happened is somebody has decided to turn things upside down and kind of go against the traditional morals, the traditional values, the traditional upbringing, the traditional ways of doing things in order to try to get something more out of what it is that they have. Uh, but there is not a level, there's not a, uh, a balanced level, there's the reciprocity is not there somebody's giving and somebody's taking and it's just not going to end well there's not a sense of balance there's not a sense of balance because somebody's spreading themselves too thin and thinking that they can do it and so what I think that the full moon in Taurus did uh, or is, is doing currently, Aries, is, is bringing all of that into the light. As I record this video, I think it's the fifth. So we are still, I think the moon is at about 96% illumination. Uh, it's not full anymore and it's waning, but it's still, if you look up in the sky to the untrained eye, it's still looks very full and therefore it is still shedding the light on a lot of things like I said it's about 96 97 percent illumination so those morals those values those things that have been turned upside down you know all of that now is coming into full focus and there's a decision that's gonna have to be made Aries because somebody's getting the short end of the stick 
the unconventional way of doing things right now I don't think is the way to go and for some of you like I said um, this could also be about some, some contractual relationships that are coming to an end um, I hope that helps some and like I said I'm just getting warmed up so forgive me if I seem a little um, believe me, I'm not in a bad mood. It's all good. But that's the way I see it, Aries. Let me go ahead and wrap this up before I say something stupid. Thanks. Um, hope to talk to you guys again next month.